Now, we're reliably informed that tomorrow the Albanese Labor government will formally reject the US government's request to send a warship to the Red Sea to help protect global oil exports. Well, it won't be couched in those terms. It'll be sold as a new deployment of ground staff to those crucial international security efforts. But this wasn't a request, to be clear, from the US government to my government. Uh, this was uh, a, a, a general request uh, to a range of nations for support there. Yeah, sure. The bottom line here is that the US asked us for a warship and we said, no, this is pathetic and it's worrying. Australia committed ships to the Persian Gulf in similar roles under Labor and Liberal governments in the 90s and beyond. We're a significant nation with a history of doing our bit by world security and by our main ally, the United States. How weak are we now when the US and the UK stump up for us and allow us to access their nuclear technologies through AUKUS and this is the way we thank them? But more to the point, this is another example of Anthony Albanese's weakness on foreign and security issues. He pretended for a while, but now the old green left, inner city, woke Labor MP is coming through. Weak on security, weak on Israel, weak on the alliance. Albanese is protecting his left flank in domestic politics and it's making our country weaker globally. Look at the list now. Albanese kowtowed to China over that sonar attack on our sailors. He kept it quiet to avoid a confrontation with Xi Jinping. That certainly would have pleased Beijing, but it did not please our Defence Force personnel. Then we've seen the border security stuff allowing 148 criminal non-citizens to walk out of detention with no special security or visa rules whatsoever. And just today, one of the nation's most notorious Islamist extremist terrorists, Abdul Benbrika, freed from jail, facing just one year of surveillance and reporting conditions. Then there was last week's pathetic vote in the United Nations, with Australia breaking ranks with the US and the UK and voting in favour of a motion that was bad for Israel and welcomed by Hamas. And then now today, this feeble response to a request for a Navy deployment in the Red Sea. Weaker and weaker by the minute, Australia. Be afraid. Be very afraid.